Yeah, yeah. Gotta move in the spirit. 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 Yes. Alright, alright, you said prophecy. So what you know about this? What you know about what we doing? St. Dominique and St. Domingo, right? Then the French came in. The French were primarily taking slaves from where? Benny and Togo, right? They were being brought to Canada, brought to Haiti, brought to New Orleans, Louisiana, to start all these certain specific places, right? So when you follow that type of history, then you're able to understand there was a, a division already among the slaves. Three groups of divisions among the slaves already. And what those three groups were was the tribe of Judah, so-called African-Americans, the so-called Haitians, the tribe of Levi, and the so-called West Indians, which deals from Jamaica, Bahamas, all the way from Trinidad to Guyana, and it's the tribe of Benjamin. They was taking African-Americans shipping them to the Caribbean when it gets crowded. That's, that's, that's true. They, they, they were bringing them to Jamaica to destroy them, right? Yeah. There's, there's a tribe. There's a tribe in the West Coast of Africa. It's in Ghana. I can't remember. It starts with an M. I can't remember what, what, what it's called, uh, something. But that tribe, they primarily try to bring them to Jamaica to just in, in destroy them. But the slavers in Jamaica flipped it and said, you know what, we're not gonna kill them, we're just gonna enslave them, right? Uh, and that's why they ended up in Jamaica, right? But my, my point is this though, so you know you're an Israelite, right? right? And you believe in God, you keep his commandments. We will do my best. Uh, man, all right, how many commandments are that? How many commandments? Yeah. Well, they say it's ten, but it's way more than that in Leviticus. So, so what's your answer? What's my answer? Yeah. I think it's like four hundred or something like that. You know what? I'll take it easy on you because you know what? You lose these clothes, right? It's How actually it's actually six hundred over six hundred and thirteen commandments. Right? Ooh, it was a lot. Bro. Yeah. But you know what it is? It's like even though it seems I like just a don't lot. I do exacts. I don't do like exact dates or none of that. I, you know, I don't really. Most of my knowledge that I got. I store it, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't do exact dates, I do more like a concept of what's going on. What do you mean exact dates? Like, you know, you know, like when you go to school and they teach you history, they teach you like, yo, you know, you know, when the Revolutionary War happened and all of that, I don't, I don't really remember the exact dates because I'm paying more attention to more the detail in the story. The things that people miss it, like really. The things they ain't trying to tell you, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta understand. Right. Being Israelite, there's two focuses. There's two pillars you gotta focus on. The most important thing is understanding who you are, 
have a strong foundation and uh, never allow anybody to push you off your pivot that that's who you real. are that's and the real. second thing is keeping god's commandments right that's real. right that's how we fell off i'm on that too though. right yeah. all right so what commandments are you falling short on what, what, what are you still what struggling with? short on yeah are you still smoking am i still smoking yeah brother what's going on and all oh, praises <laughs> every herb has its purpose right every herb has its purpose right if, you, if you're going to take that responsibility and use these herbs you got to make sure that you're not how can i say misusing them overusing them because that's what a lot of people do that's why i'm not going to get on you for the first telling me that you do that right because it's not against the law right but you got to make sure that you're not destroying yourself man right because Give me that scripture. It's not expedient, right? It's not expedient. Expedient. It's not expedient. Yeah, expedient. Well, find me, someone find me that scripture. If it's not expedient. Well, like sentence if, against If it's law, it's, if it's, it can be lawful, but not expedient. It may be lawful, but not expedient. Right. Let me get that scripture real quick for you. You got yours? First Corinthians 6, 12 through 20. All right, go ahead and read that. That's expedient, right? Yeah, yeah, you read that. You can read that. Yeah, yeah, First okay. Corinthians. You got it right there. Yeah. This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter six and verse twelve. Bring it out. All things are lawful unto me, uh -huh. but all things are not now, expedient. When, when Paul said that all things are lawful to him, he's not saying the things that are already considered as unlawful are now lawful to him. He's talking about the things that are already considered lawful are lawful to me, right? But read on. All things are lawful unto me, uh -huh. but all things are not expedient. So just because something I'm allowed to do something, it doesn't always mean I should do it. No, that's real. Right. Just because I should, just because I can get a wife, don't mean really the, how t today is. It don't really mean you should get one. Right. No, so I'm saying that's real. that's real. Right. So the, uh, with that, I'll just tell you go and care. So I'm saying do your research and make sure that you're doing it the proper way. So I'm saying so you don't destroy yourself. Like, you feel me? Like a healthy tip, anyway. I'm, I'm a little older, you feel me? Like I said, I'm old school, so you feel me? Like, I'm trying to stay as healthy as possible anyway. You feel me? Uh huh. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I ain't really trying to damage my body in no type of way. Still eat pork? <laughs> I don't even eat meat, my G. Right, are you vegan or pescatarian? I'm pescatarian. You're pescatarian, so you fish. But I don't eat no dairy. I don't eat no dairy, okay. No, 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 no catfish. Nah, I don't eat. Okay. No shrimp, no crap. No shellfish. No shellfish. Okay, okay, all right, all right. You, know, you got me, all right. All right, all praises, you know? So so what, what are you falling short? Because I know, I, I can already see something. What's that? I'll show you. Give me the book of Numbers 15, verse 37. Oh, there you go. I already knew. Give me that scripture real quick. I'm going to show you something. You know, everything takes steps, you know? And I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that, you know, so far, a lot of those things, those are simple things to let go. You know what I mean? And these are things right here, these are simple things to put on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's easy. Really easy. Go ahead. This is the book of number, chapter 15 and verse 37. Bring it out. And the Most High spake unto Moses, saying, 
Say what? Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak unto who? Speak, speak unto, unto the, the children, children of Israel. Israel. He says, speak unto the children of Israel. And obviously, that's us. Yeah. All right, go ahead. And bid them that they make them fringes. That they make them what? That, that they, they make, make them, them fringes. fringes. And they make them fringes, right? Let's see the importance. Read on. In the border of their garments. Come on. Throughout their generation. Come on. So when it says it has to be, we have to make fringes, and it has to be throughout our generation, what does that mean? I mean, like, forever. Forever, but forever for who? Through our, our, our children and our children's children. There you go, right? right? right. So when you have children, you gotta, it's, you it's, gotta it's important, game. is that you gotta put them on game. Yeah, I mean, you gotta put them on game. Yeah, that's how I go, though, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And that they put on, upon the fringe of the borders, a ribbon of blue. Right, a ribbon of blue, come on. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it. That we may look upon it, come on. And remember all the commandments of the Most High and do them. Right, and these, you know, these things are a whole lot of drip, you know what I mean? It look good, you know? I mean, if you don't have no wife, you put these on, you might have a wife by the end of the day, you know? But, the, what, <laughs> but you know, these, yeah. these are the commandments of God. You know? And the reason why uh, this is an important one is because do you gather with anybody yet? Yeah, right now we gather with people. Uh, <laughs> outside meeting us. You, you, are you part of the school? Yeah, you school? Part of, yeah. Yeah, I went to school. You know, oh, man, are you part of a, like a Israelite camp or nah, Israelite school? Nah. Are you familiar that there's some out there? Like, well, like yeah, I'll be, I'll be seeing y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, where you staying? Where are you located at? I'll be everywhere. Bro. I'll be in Florida mostly. Okay. Yeah, but I'll be in different cities. Though. So I'll be in New York, I'll be like Atlanta, everywhere. Okay. Before you leave, we're gonna make sure to take your number, man. Yeah, definitely. Then, because we got a school, we have an organization. It's not it's just us. We got more brothers. Actually, we're literally like 15 minutes away from here. Alright, we're near we're near like Tata Town. I don't know if you know what that is. No. Yeah, we over there. We like we're, we're at Walmart and everything at Yeah, it's not that far. Okay, we got a whole section out there too. You know what I mean? That's one of the brothers, the priest over there. He's over that section also. All right, go ahead. Okay, so you already know about the fringes. That's good, right? The reason why I mentioned about the school is because Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. There's an importance of us getting together, right? Yeah, I come study with y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Like, one thing I do like about y'all is, you know what I'm saying? Everything is based on the word, you know what I'm saying? So everything that y'all say, y'all can bring it back and give it to them and be like, yo, it, it ain't like I'm just saying this. You know right. what I'm saying? I really believe in this. This is where I get it from. Right. And basically, like, you believe in the same thing, too. And then when you show it to them, it's like they don't want to see it because of, of, of where it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I definitely rock with that. And I'm a person that I like to be precise. I like information to be precise. So if it's about information, I'm definitely building on that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I absolutely agree. And you know the thing is about being with your own people, gathering with them with the same mindset, you know, the same goals, you know, you're striving to try to keep God's commandments. So you get with other people who are doing the same thing and it makes it easier for your walk. Right? But the, the most important thing is yeah, when you come keep these commandments with your people, you have to learn how to push your emotions inside. You know, I mean stop getting your feelings all the time. You know, stop allowing yourself to be easily offended just because a brother's correcting you, man. You know what I'm saying? You've been, maybe, I'm not saying you, but maybe someone been struggling for smoking weed for like, I don't know, 13 years straight. You come to the school, someone's correcting you, yo, brother, you gotta stop smoking. And you take it personal. It's because you've been by yourself for too long, man. You need to be around your people, man. So you can able to uh, strengthen yourself out of Go ahead. You know, like, I mean, if you're gonna be a part of something, you know what I'm saying, you gotta step up to the plate. Cause if you don't want them to know, and then they telling you like, yo, you feel me? Like you need to chill. Cause I know you already know you doing something wrong. Cause they ain't want them to know in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you might as well just step up to the plate. If they saying that, then that's that. You know what I'm saying? And as a man, everybody should be able to do that. You know what I'm saying? So let me just pick your brain, right? So how long have you known that? You, how long have you known about this place or known you're this place? <laughs> yeah. You know, to be honest, I, I would say that's an impressive amount of time. But you don't got 
with your fringes, man. If you had walked up here with your fringes and you told me you've been in the truth for 20 years, I would say, Eric Akim, all the brothers, let's say shalom to them. Hey, listen up, listen. <laughs> Go ahead. You in the Matrix level, you know what I'm saying? Dolo, yeah, I'm saying it's a different, it, it's war time, it's like a different game that you play. Okay? I agree. Yeah. Let's see, my response to that is this. Go ahead. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it out! Gather yourselves together. That's why the Lord said, gather yourselves, get yourselves together. Read on. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. And your nation not desired. No one cares about you. No one cares about what's going on with you because you are a nation not desired. All right, read on. Before the decree bring forth. And get this done. Get this thing done before I send my son back. Because when he comes back, all that emotional, you can't be told anything, you want to do your own thing, you need to get together, or my son, when he comes back and he see that division, he's going to kill a lot of y'all, man. Read that. Before the day pass as the shaft. As the day pass as the shaft, right? So we gotta get, we gotta make sure that we're getting together. But now, boom, you're, you're in this life. You know who you are. You know you gotta keep God's commandments, right? Have you ever, have you ever had any questions that you ever wanted to ask about the scriptures, things you wanted to know, things you want to know maybe about the tribes, and you want to know about, I don't know, doctrine? I've been doing my research. You know what I mean? So I've been feeling pretty, you know what I'm saying? Uh huh. You know, I've been feeling pretty confident about the information. Like, I, I really, I'm learning about y'all movements, but, you know, as far as the information is, you know, uh, biblically, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever heard of the, the Trinity? You ever been to church? Yeah, I've been to church. You ever heard of the Trinity? When I was like, look at you, it's still that same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard that before? The Trinity? Yeah. Yeah. Like Father, Son, Holy yeah. Spirit, makes up God. A, that's a Roman thing. Though. That's a Roman thing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Nah. Now, who's God to you? God to me, yeah. the Trinity, the real Trinity. Okay, who's, what's the real Trinity? The real Trinity is, is um, man, woman, and child. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so there's a man God, a woman God, <laughs> and a child God. Yeah. Okay, so explain that. Prove that to me. I mean, because that's where, that's where the foundation of you know, all of this comes from. You know what I'm saying? When the Romans took it, they basically took it and put the ghost in there. You know what I'm saying? Duffy. We call it, in Jamaica, we call that a duffy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they threw the duffy in there. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't never been about that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's always been the black woman, the black man, and the black child. You know what I'm saying? Where, where do you find the black woman in the Bible? Where do you find the black woman being called God in the Bible? You said, where do I find the black woman being, being called, called God? God? Yeah, in the Bible. If I go into the Bible, only men are called God. I mean... Want an example? I mean, if it's going to go biblically, right? Yeah. I mean, you can see, like, from, from the Virgin Mary, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to go biblically, you know what I'm saying? The young, the young, beautiful Virgin Mary, the young woman Mary. Yeah. She's not a god, though. The Bible never calls her a god. She's a mother of God, you know what I'm saying? Okay, she's a, she, she's a mother of a like god. Pure divinity, you know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ, she's, there, how many gods are there? There's one god. For sure. Yeah. Okay. One I'm gonna read something in the Bible. I want your understanding on it. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Bring it out! I have said, ye are gods. The Bible says, ye are gods. Now I'm gonna make sure you know, understand that, what that word is, because I'm gonna have them spell it. Read it one more time. And I have said, ye oh, are God. gods. Spell the word. G O D S. Now the Bible says, we're gods. These the children God. of Israel. Yeah. yeah, the children of Israel. Peace God. But when you go into that, not please God, we are gods. Say peace God. Huh? Peace God. Oh, there you go. You got it. Give the brother a hand, man. But, okay, so that means there's not one God anymore now. But the Bible never calls well, we women won, God. Though. Huh? We won, though. We won what? We won entity. We won. Eh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, we that's how y'all came still to me today. We're still individuals, though. Huh? We're still individual. Nah, but we still. Because if you're if you're a god over here, yeah. and I'm a god over here, how many gods are standing here? There's two gods. There, god. there you go. One god. One god entity, though. You're one god. It just said it said plural. It said gods. Yeah. Oh, god. No yeah. one god. There's only one god. Not true. Read that one more time. 
Psalms 82 and verse 6. Bring it out. I have said, ye are gods. Ye are gods. Now, Exodus chapter 7 verse 1. I'm going to show you something. Because the Bible just says that. That's David writing that down, right? All right. I'm going to show you where the Lord said that. They said more than, the Bible said that multiple times. So why you say that there's only one God then? Because yeah, it's one. Huh? Not all of us. Uh, yeah, we won. No, 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 no. Yeah. If, if a brother, if a brother came over here right now right. and he was practicing homosexuality, he was a transgender, and he was an atheist, me, me, me and him may be the same people, but we're not one in mind. Nah, but it ain't about that though. You can't be a god. Yeah, you can't just be a god because you're black. I never said you know what that. I said you, you I still be the same people, but only, we're not the same. When you you're only one, God when you step into the God flow, <laughs> nah, you gotta step into the motion. So we gotta be in that mind. Yeah, you gotta. Right. You, if yeah, he's a homosexual and a transgender and an atheist, me and him are not in the same mind. Yeah. It's only when but you, is he still a god though? It's only when what? I see you dying and okay, I run down and what? I'll be like, yo, what? in what? my god flow and I save hey, you. Can I say something? You know but is he still a god though? No, no, can I say something? Because he got to step into the God motion no. and even be no, God. No, still, he, whether he knows or not, he's still a God. Read that scripture. Right. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 7 and verse 1. Bring it out. And the most I said unto Moses, said what see i have made thee a god a what a, a god. god what did he say a, a god. god the lord said that to moses he said i made you a god yeah. right so there is multiple gods in this earth yeah. but i would agree this there's only one most high god yeah, yeah, that's okay, the father no, no, no. right that's yeah, the most high god that's the father no, no. right if right. right. we all got that in us though huh? but we, we all got, got that we all got it we as children of israel yes we yeah, all have the god in us that's true but our women, our women, black and Hispanic women, are never called gods in the Bible. I mean, because yeah, even that word, even that word children there, in Psalms 82 and 6, let me just say this one thing. When you go to Psalms 82 and 6, and you go into the Hebrew, that word children is ban. It means children, sons. That's what it means. It means sons. Ye are the, ye sons are gods. That's what it's saying. Okay, it's not uh, talking about plural as in men and women. Yeah, you cannot say something. Go ahead, brother. Okay, um, oh, I, stay uh, topic, no, and then I'll get out your way. <laughs> um, I can't remember, I can't remember the address, uh -huh. but God said to man, You are my workmanship. Absolutely. You Absolutely. are my workmanship. I am so proud, but at the same time, you are, you are my workmanship. See, my world don't come out to be void. But let me say one thing. So, where do you get the fuck about from? Whatever. Where do I? Yeah, I don't see that. All right. Oh, this, father, this is what I'm going to tell you, though. Father this is what I'm gonna the tell most you. high God, right. and I want to see the son. This is what I'm going to tell you right now, right? Go ahead. You know, the Bible that we read, what about you, you know what I'm Are you with anybody over here? No, you ain't the Bible different. that we read. Is, is there a mother God in the Bible? Different, different, different voices. Yeah, my brother, my brother, different it's all right. Go ahead. Yeah, no, the Bible that we read, right? And the language that we speak. Uh -huh. know what I'm saying? You gotta realize where it's coming from, you know what I'm saying? It's coming from it's coming from Rome. You know what I'm saying? No. No, hold on. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm listening. The only interpretations that we have of this Bible is from the Greek and from the Rome. You know? From the Roman. What about the Old Testament? The Old Testament, the only interpretation that we got is from the Greek and the Roman when they found the Rosetta Stone and they was able to translate, translate the scrolls. You know what I'm saying? That's the okay. only. Okay. So, so and remember what the Romans is on, right? right? What scrolls was it? Huh? What scrolls was it? The Dead Sea Scrolls? The Dead Sea Scrolls is in Hebrew. Yeah, but they, nobody not, knew not, how to speak ancient no, Hebrew. No, 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 try to get into Hebrew. Don't try to say, no one spoke Hebrew. We did. And you know, two, James you didn't say that. You said that it was in La it was in Rome. Yeah, Latin. The interpretation was in Rome. If it's in Greek, Hebrew, how is it? A, wait, wait, wait. Stone, if it's saying? if it's in if it's in a Roman interpretation, how is it written in Hebrew with a Roman interpretation? Because the Rosetta Stone it was, it was had the, all the languages on it. It had Aramaic, it had yeah, 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 Greek, yeah, yeah, and it had yeah, yeah, Roman on Roman. That's how they was able to translate it yeah, because yeah. before that. They ain't know what that. They ain't know what it said. You yeah, know what but you see, the but, English world, you know, you know, we didn't know none about it. But King James, King James, you know what King James is? 
King James gather all the scholars mm -hmm. from all over the world to translate the short and the Hebrew language go, into man. the Bible. Huh? I'm gonna let you go on that one. So we hey, can let's break it down. Uh, like, it ain't me. Hey, listen, I love you guys, man. Hey, man I love you. See you guys, man. I, I gotta go, listen, man. So, listen, so if it needs to be listen, so, it's gonna, it's gonna be so. Listen, I ain't got no feelings towards it. I agree that we should get together and we should build each other. But I need a for sure answer on this because I ain't never find no woman who died in this Bible. All right. If you wanna, if you wanna let it go, then all praise. Right. We'll give you a hand. All right. Nah, it ain't even about letting it go. I'm just telling you that where, where it's coming from, from that Rosetta Stone, them Romans and them Greeks, they had a problem with, with women. You know what I'm saying? Because they yeah, was gay. You know what I'm saying? So they had a problem. Romans, the Romans in the East had female and male gods. Why, if it's coming from a Roman, if this Bible is coming from a Roman interpretation, why would they take out a woman god out of it? Hey. We see what they do. In okay, the, in where, the Vatican, where, where was huh? it? Wait, I don't. Where, where, I'm not, wait, the wait, wait, the wait, 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 powerful women were, took, were taken out of the Bible at a time when they were building the, building the Vatican. Give me Esther. That's not true. We had a, we had a whole woman and she was the wife of King, uh, what was it, Exerces? Not Ex it was Exerces or someone else. He was the king of Persia. She was the queen of Persia, of Darius. Was it Darius? Yeah, she was the wife of Darius and she was a Jew. No, she was a, yeah. Esther was a Jew. The Persian? The Persian? And she came from your tribe. The what are you talking right, about? Right. Hold on. Right. Yeah, so you going to put me on game now. If you show me the Persians being Hebrews, you put No, 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 no. no. Yeah. The king of the Persians, his wife was a Jew. She was a Benjamite. Her name was Esther. And she married a, but, she married but, but, a, a heathen. While we huh? were oppressed in slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like if Joe Biden decided he wanted to take one of our women right now and marry her. Who, you gonna go stop Joe Biden? Yeah, I'm a rap. Uh, <laughs> you know, I appreciate that. I appreciate that, CEO. Well, I'm gonna show you. There's plenty of women in the Bible, right? We had a whole judge in the Bible, right? We had a, a judge named Deborah, right? Right. And she instructed our people. But it said that she instructed our people as a mother, right? We didn't take her and say, "Yo, she's wise. She knows counsel. So let's make her a god." No, we didn't do that, right? When it goes in the Bible, it was the men that were called gods. Huh? We didn't do that with men either, though. We didn't do that with men either, though. The Lord did that with, with Moses. We already showed you that. I showed you that. You got the water, I thought. Did I? I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, we gods. You got that one in Proverbs? Yeah, I got you know the Proverbs. Okay, get the one in Esther first. This is the. I got it, King. The one in the word. This is the book of Esther, chapter 2 and verse 16. Bring it out! And it reads So, Esther was taken unto the king Azarius into his house royal in the 10th month, which is the month of Tabeth, uh -huh. in the seventh year of his reign. Come on. And the king loved Esther above all the women. What did, what did he do? And, and the, the king, king loved, loved Esther, Esther above, above all, all the women. women. Come on. And she obtained grace and favor in his sight uh -huh. more than all the virgins right now let me see get that right there judges five and seven they get the proverbs verse okay. judges five and seven right there all right this is also deborah so she was the queen of the persian medial empire and the wife to the king of persia uh -huh. right how did she not have power and authority she did so uh, how, but man. what she even if she had power, power hold on hold on how is she man, yo give me a man. give me a come on Esther where it says that uh, keep her, the king of Persia said, I'll give you half my kingdom. Yeah, give me that part. That man, he, he said, I'll give you half my kingdom. He gave her half his kingdom. How are you going to say he didn't have no power? Hey, I, hey, 
he gave her half his kingdom. Yeah, but we didn't make he had to. He had to give it to her. You know huh? what I'm saying? He had to give it to okay, her. Okay, and, and furthermore, and that ain't no power. Wait, wait, if, the God, wait, wait, if God don't give wait, it to you, wait, 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 it wait, ain't wait, no wait, power. Wait, wait. Huh? And once she got it, once she got that uh, that, uh, that uh, authority, yeah. right? Go on. It's hers now, right? It's hers now, right? It's hers till the king want to take it back. Wait, it's hers now, right? It's hers till the king want to take it back. But it's hers, though. Before he takes it back, it's hers, right? Look, what I'm saying. Oh, uh, you didn't know what I'm saying, question, right? Brother. Come on. That's to be debated, right? That's, no, that we talking about debated. political power right there, right? We, we now, we got to okay, go go remember that when they writing it, they not they not talking about political power. What the power that they don't want to give the women is 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 spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? So they give them they give them political power. Give me women don't go to war. Give me judges chapter five or seven. Read that first. Okay, I got judges five or seven. Right? Okay, yeah. A woman did listen. If, if 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 we're talking about the power to do what, we'll give them power to do what. What what, what power I'm talking about? Yeah. I mean. Me personally, you know what I'm saying, living today, yeah. you, know, you know, to testify to what's going on today, you know what I'm saying? I know that it's angels and it's demons out here, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I know they come in all shapes and forms, you know what I'm saying? So, I know that you're going to encounter certain angels, they're going to be whatever, like female, male, whatever, but they're going to do their job, you know what I'm saying? Name, and that's what they do. Angel it's none. Name one one male one angel in the Bible. When I say when so I say I'll answer my question it, first before you say that. It's many. <laughs> okay, 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 it's okay. Many. So But I back, already back, said that you know what I'm saying? The they took the power for females out. No, no, no. You can't prove to me what's ever given to them. And the second thing is power but to do what though? It's, it's, it's because women do our women, huh? we cherish, we we cherish, we love, we'll die for our women, we'll go to war for our That's women, right. we'll do all of that. But the thing is, is that we're talking about power. What kind of power well, I'm just saying, are you if, talking if, about if giving women? If we got women? the God flow, they got the God flow too. God flow to do what? To, to, do, to, do, to do God's work. No. Get, what you mean, though? No. Give me Micah 3 and 8. Your, your wife, your mother, everybody, they're doing God's work with you. The, the role of the woman and the role of the man are not the same. The right. same way you would have said. I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. Then how are we going to do the same op How are we going to do the same job in God's work? Right. It's many It's many jobs huh? in, in, in God's and, exactly. corporation. And in a corporation, there's people that's above and there's people below. It's a role, right? So she's giving birth. To, to to God to more gods. That's God's work. I I never disagree with that. Yeah. I never disagree with that. And if she's holding the commandments and, and holding it down, hey, I ain't gonna, I ain't here to debate her about if she, a, what, she a God like this. me or not. Give me Micah three and eight. You got it. Go, Go ahead, read that. This is the book of Micah, chapter three and verse eight. Bring it out. But truly, I am full of power. What did Micah say? But truly, I am full of power. Micah said, truly, I am filled with power. This power that we're talking about, right? Let's see what he says. Go ahead. But truly, I am full of power Come on. by the Spirit of the Most High. It's coming from the Most High, right? Uh -huh. I'm from the Most High. Come on. And of judgment. Uh huh. And of might. And of might. And of judgment. And of power. Come on. To declare unto Jacob. Unto who? Unto, unto Jacob. Jacob. Unto what? Unto, unto Jacob. Jacob. All this power, all this might, all this judgment is given to the hand of this man to do what? Unto Jacob his transgression. To show his fellow men and women their transgression. Read on. And to Israel his sin. Now, can we give that power to women, our women? The power of judgment. No, that's not what I, that's not the whole thing. That that power of judgment and to declare unto our people their transgressions and their sins. Can we give that power to them? <laughs> God could get that power. That's not what I asked you. Have we done it? You said, have we done it? Yeah. No, we haven't. Okay then, brother. What are you? What are we talking about? Then our women are not gods. What are you talking about, brother? When we go into the Bible, only men are called gods here, man. Right? Let, let, there's a chain of order in these things. Give me First Corinthians, man. First Corinthians eleven and two. Right? Eleven and three. Eleven and three. Yeah. 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 This is the book of First Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. Bring it out! But I would have you know that the head of... Like it. But I would have you know that the head of every man 
is Christ. All right, so there's a chain of order, right? You're going to be surprised by this. This is a chain of order. The head of every man is Christ. Read on. And the head of the woman is the man. Is the what? Is, is the, the man. man. They're equal. Is, is the, the man. man. They share the same office. Is, is the, the man. man. They share the same power. Is, is the, the man. man. Is the man. And it's above that woman, right? Well, well, and when I, that's First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. All right. So that's that's the chain of order, man. And when I go into this Bible, because of that order, I don't see female gods, right? I don't see female gods that we should worship. There's not one female god, one female, one male god, and one sun god that we all we all worship. We didn't do that, right? We as children of Israel, we have one Most High God, man. Is He the only God? No. Because we, as the children of men, the Israelite men, were gods. You see? Got it? I ain't disagreeing. He ain't disagreeing. All right, get him right here, man. He ain't disagreeing. I ain't disagreeing. He ain't disagreeing. Hey, go, brother. Isn't that hard? It's easy. See what I'm saying? Hey, just know I see you and your sister out with y'all the same respect. That's, that's yeah, beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh, absolutely. You and her. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what we're about, man. We're out here to teach our people. We're out, out here to teach our people, man. But you got to let that go, man. But that's the reason. Why, yeah. <laughs> you got to let that spine go. Yeah, you got to let that go. <laughs> that's the reason why the Bible says iron hey, sharpens iron. Look. You know what I mean? Hey, now I'm going to tickle my curiosity. I'm going to be doing more research. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't like something that I was based in my old theology on. So you know, you know, it's good. You know what I'm saying? We could, we could, we could bounce back and forth on that, and that's gonna make me think. Hey, let me, let me do more exploring on this. You know what I'm saying? The whole gender role, gender roles in this whole, you know what I'm saying? Spirituality thing. Yeah. Listen, that's perfect, brother. Now, now we know about Christ, right? We know about Christ. Now my question about Christ is: We know He's in this life. Where the Israelites? Now the biggest question is, who did he die for? Who did Christ die for? Yeah. Who did Christ die for? He died for the Israelites. He died for Israelites? Yeah, the Romans killed him. I mean, it's just us, saying, right? Huh? It's just us? Yeah. Well, you ever heard of uh, Don, uh you ever heard of Dr. Barashango? No, I haven't. Uh, Explain okay. to me. That's he uh, um he a professor. You know what I'm saying? But um yeah, he say um he say Jesus was a black revolutionary. I agree. Yeah. Uh, you know, in, in that sense, he died for the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But did he die for anyone else? I mean, I'm asking you. You know, like my belief is a little different. You know what I'm saying? So. What's your belief? I believe in. I believe in God. I believe in God, I yeah. believe in God right? Uh-huh. Right. And, uh, I'm Old Testament. Let's put it like that. I'm old school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't believe in the New Testament? It's not necessarily that I don't believe in the New Testament. You know what I'm saying? You don't believe in Jesus Christ? I don't believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. So, you don't believe Jesus Christ existed? I mean, nobody ever existed named Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? That's not true. Give me the book of Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7, verse 45. I'm going to show you something real quick, man. All right? You, 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 you are a reason why I have no problem going to New Testament because you already explained that we, we, we translated it. In the Bible, and so on and so call him Jesus of Nazareth. You know huh? what I'm saying? Oh, wait, you said there ain't nobody named Jesus Christ ever existed. I'm just saying, who you talking about in the Bible, they call him Jesus of Nazareth. His name wasn't even Jesus. Wait, you know what Nazareth yeah, is? Yeah, it's in, it's in Israel. Yeah, it's area. Yeah. But you know what Christ is? Yeah. What's that mean? Christ. It's well, a, it's Christ. A, it's, okay. It's a, it goes let, let me break it back. Let me bring it back. Christ, oh, right? Ahead. Christ come from the Romans again. You know what I'm saying? But Christ meant the Messiah. That was crucified. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily just the Messiah, but the Messiah that was crucified. The Jewish Messiah that was crucified. The, Is the Israelite that was crucified. Well, I, I don't just say that. You already got it the first half. 
Christ really just goes back to a Greek and Roman word, Christos, and it deals with, exactly. it goes back to our Hebrew word, Mashiach, which deals with the Savior, right? right. The Savior or the Messiah, right? right? The Messiah. Now, did, was Christ the first one who ever had that name applied to him? No, right? right? There were other saviors, like Moses. Moses saved us out of Egypt. Joshua saved our people and brought them into the land, right? Samson saved us from the Philistines, right? So there were other saviors. Other people who could have had that terminology. But Christ was a specific one because the Bible talks about him coming and dying for our sins, right? So now let me show you that other people was called Jesus in according to the Bible. Give me the book of Acts chapter 7, 45. This is the book of Acts chapter 7 and verse 45. Bring it out! Which also our fathers that came after brought in Yahweh Shai. No, read Acts this. Okay. Which also our fathers that came after so right. this is dealing with Stephen is going over the history of our people and we're leaving the wilderness and going into the land of Canaan to take it over, right? Our fathers, right? In the wilderness, go ahead. Which also our fathers came after, brought in with Jesus. By who? With, with Jesus. Jesus. With who? With, with Jesus. Jesus. Now, this person that we call Jesus Christ, was he there in the wilderness with us when we went into the land of Canaan according to the Bible? What do you mean? Was Jesus Christ in the wilderness with Joshua, with uh, Moses and everything? No. no, he wasn't. So who is this Jesus that they're saying that was there? That brought us into the land? That's not written when Moses, from the time of Moses. That wasn't. No. This, the, the, way they're, the way they're talking about it is off history, based off history. So the question I'm asking you is, they're saying that this person right here, named Jesus, brought us into the land. And yeah. okay, who is no, that? I'm saying that. That right there wasn't written when they was going into the land, though. That's true. Yeah. So who's this person? That's what I'm saying. I ain't going on that. You want to know who it is? I can tell you. Who is it? It's Joshua, right? Because remember what you told me already. The New Testament is, is translated from the Greek, yeah. right? So they took this key, they took the Hebrew word, the Hebrew name of Joshua, right? And translated it from the Hebrew to the Greek and put it into the English. And that's how you get Jesus, right? By adding that little J way, way later on. Right? It was before it was, uh, if I pronounced it correctly, it was Asus or Asus or something something similar to that. Right? We don't. So now we see Jesus is mentioned in the Bible. Right? You said you wouldn't believe in the Old Testament though? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. So you don't believe a Savior is coming? No. Are you sure? No. A Savior already here. Who's that? You? Oh. Yeah. Man. Hey, listen, listen. <laughs> Listen, listen. We listen. Brothers up here are saviors, yeah. right? But there's prophesied a savior that's supposed to come to save our people, right? Give me the book of Zephaniah. Give me the gospel. book of Obadiah. Obadiah 1 and 21. Let me get that real quick in the Bible. Because the Bible prophesied that, right? The Bible talks about saviors, right? Obadiah 1 and 21. Let's see that real quick before it's in the Bible. You don't believe Jesus Christ historically existed. Yeah. And you don't believe that there's a Messiah or a Savior coming. Like, like Jesus coming back? No, like a man coming to die for our sins. Not now, but has to. I mean, it's a lot of men dying for our sins every day. What's that? What you mean? Name him. Malcolm X. Malcolm X had sins. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King absolutely had sins. All right. Right. I ain't saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? How, you know? How you know when he died, he had it? Huh? How you know when he died, he no, had Malcolm it? No, Malcolm X had it. How you sense. know he ain't go like switch it up on well, the, the last is, day? I, I, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Huh? How you know though? No, 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 no. How you know? He, man has how you know he ain't die in the sprinter? Huh? How you know he ain't die in the sprinter? Right, if you can take a picture out and show me Malcolm X's sprinter, son, then you got it, brother. You got it for the rest of the night. Go ahead and read that. This is the book of Obadiah, chapter one and verse twenty-one. Bring it out and saviors. And you know what, even funny, funny that you brought up that Malcolm X thing, I remember when Malcolm X came back from over there. He came back from, uh, I want to say, what is it, Saudi, no. Uh, Saudi what, not Saudi Arabia. What's, what's that place in Mecca. Mecca is. Mecca, yeah. Saudi Arabia. Oh, Medina. When he came Saudi back from, Arabia. I think Medina, that's yeah. where Mecca is. Right, he came back from Medina, right? Once he came back from there, wait, wait, what's your ethnicity? Okay, listen from there. So, when, when Malcolm X came word. from Medina, right? When he came back from seeing the Mecca stone, you already know he, he came down, back he over here. To touch you before that he that man was talking about, oh, I, I'm gonna allow my white brothers and Allah to join up with me and all types of things like that. He was bugging out. All right, when he came back from Medina, go that's ahead. Why they, that's why they hit him. And saviors 
shall come up on Mount Zion. What it say? And, and saviors shall, shall come up on Mount Zion. Zion. So we always had saviors, but the Bible talks about a specific savior that is prophesied to come to die for our sins, right? I'm gonna read a verse and I want you to explain to me. Ready? Isaiah 53. Isaiah chapter 53, verse one. Got me all on the camera, man. Y'all don't post me. Man. What you mean? He got me all up on the camera. Nah, man. Y'all don't post me, man. Let me see. You know what? You can start from verse, verse two. Start from verse yeah, two. No, man. It's like when they see me now, bro. They gonna be like, I seen you on YouTube, bro. And that's good. This hey, is hey, the book. You can tell them how much that, how many things you don't believe you anymore, and how, how you keep in God's commandments. That's Go ahead. Right. Right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter fifty-three. And verse 2, Bring it oh, up. for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. Right, come on. And as a root out of a dry ground. Uh huh. He hath no form nor comeliness. Uh huh. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. Right, so this is a specific man that's coming, coming for our people, man. Right? Well. You can start from verse four. Go to go jump down first four. Just to the point, All right? But it says something very specific about this man who's supposed to come. Go ahead. Isaiah fifty-three and verse four. Bring it out. Oh. Surely he had borne our griefs. He has borne what? Surely he, he has, has borne, borne our, our grief. griefs. He has borne our griefs. Read on. And carried our sorrows. And carried our sorrows. Come on. Yet we did esteem him stricken, uh -huh. smitten of the Most High, and afflicted. Right. And he was afflicted because of us. He carried our burdens, our sorrows. This man is coming to do this, right? Read on. But he was wounded for our transgressions. What was he wounded for? But, but he, he was, was wounded, wounded for, for our, our transgressions. transgressions. He, 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 singular. This one guy is coming to be wounded for our transgressions. What, what now, who that sound like? What um, person that? That's Isaiah chapter fifty. Go ahead and say it. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 53 and verse 5. Bring it up. Uh, now, have you ever read that before? No. But, um. So, what do you that think? That was prophesizing Jesus. Huh? That was prophesizing Jesus. Good brother, yeah, man. <laughs> there you go, brother. There you go, brother. Listen, man. I'm going to tell you something, man. Right? We call him Jesus Christ and so on and so forth. We say that so that people understand what we're talking about. But his true name is Amashiach. Amashiach Yahusha. Right? Yahusha. He died for so-called black and Hispanic people, and he is our king, man. He's our lord. He died for the people in his sons. And right here, it shows us that he was always prophesied to come to die for us. Yeah, I know that. Right. And why are you saying you didn't believe in Jesus Christ? Because I don't believe in Jesus Christ. Oh my the, God! The, the, you gotta explain that, the, brother. The, I don't understand, man. The Roman concept of Jesus Christ. I mean, what's the know? what's the Roman concept of Jesus Christ? I mean, just what we say, Jesus Christ. You know, you gave you just gave me a different name. You know what I'm saying? And you know. So you're referring to what they gave us as in a white image, uh, a man who died for everybody. And, so, so and, the, and the theology that goes along with that. You know okay, I, I, I can agree with that concept, yeah. right? But if we're talking about the real man that's mentioned in the Bible, did he exist and did he die for his people? Hey. Yeah, I mean, hey, a, lot, right. a, lot, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of people died at that time. That's what we got to realize, you know what I'm saying? And, you know... The Roman concepts that they give us in the New Testament, you know what I'm saying? It's just that, it's romanticized. Because that's what they had to give the Roman people for them to be able to convert.
This is the book of Jude, chapter 1 and verse 4. Bring it out. For there are certain men crept in unaware who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Come on. Ungodly men. Ungodly who? Ungodly, ungodly men. men. Ungodly men. Who's ungodly men? These same people who push these doctrines, like the Trinity, the virgin birth. Uh, you have to be water baptized yeah. or you can't be saved. Stupid garbage like that. That was given to us by our oppressors. That yeah. pushed down our throat by our oppressor. Well, even right? worse, like, the, the main trick is, you know what I'm saying? You know, y'all boys out here, y'all like, yo, listen, how many commandments there is? And I ain't you know what I'm saying? The main trick is that they telling people that, oh, as long as you believe in Jesus, you gonna go to heaven, and you you know you ain't gotta like do the work. You know what I'm saying? And and that's really what you know. That's really a big motivating factor in me like understanding all of that and like being on my you know, on my square because it's like you know it's really a big trick. You know what I'm saying? Right. We know that these people is evil because we see them. Bless the little kids, we see them like, you know what I'm saying, blessing bombs when they go on the war. We see they hide Nazi gold. We see all the, I see all the bullshit they doing. Right. And they got mad information, mad books and shit that's ours that they don't want to give back. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, they just, they just holding our shit hostage. You know what I'm saying? Peace. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's so important that we keep you guys in practice, right? And that's the reason why we have to get together because all these types of things, we have to, we have to cut them out. There's a lot of our people understanding who they are but they try to hold on to christianity while they walk in yeah. believing in water baptism believing in the virgin birth believing in the trinity yeah. all that stuff is garbage right? they believe, they believe, bro. okay but here finish that verse really believe, you know what I'm saying? it's hard to break that you know what I'm saying? you good boy this is the book of jude chapter one and verse four bring it out for there are certain men crept in unaware what about the bible say for there, there are certain, certain men, men crept, crept in unaware. unaware certain men crept unaware come on who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Come on. Ungodly men. Who? Ungodly, ungodly men. men. Ungodly men, come on. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness. Turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness, read on. And denying the only Lord God. Denying the only Lord God. Go ahead. And, and what? our Lord Jesus Christ. And our Lord Jesus Christ. It made a separation who the Lord God is and our Lord Jesus Christ, which means they're two separate people. The Lord God there is the Father. Yeah. He's our, our true most yeah. high God. Yeah. And Jesus Christ is his son. Yeah. Right? And he's a God himself, yeah. but he's not the most high God. Just like we got. Right, yeah. So there you go. Right. So now you look, see the only thing is you, know, you gotta just get down, man. You gotta get down, stay in down. contact with us, come to our school. I see y'all boy riding, I'm popping out. You know what I'm saying? I'm down. I watch what's going on closely. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm doing? I'm going to raise up and be powerful teacher. Because I ain't going to call 911. I'm going to call y'all boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real talk. I hope you do.